welcome everybody to the Nielsen Bestseller Awards brought to you in association with Coots. It's going to be a no holes barred joyous chance to celebrate something very precious indeed. What makes me feel absolutely thrilled to bits? It's just amazing. An absolute joy. I can't tell you how happy it's made me. It's kind of a miracle really, isn't it? Completely blown away. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, that's a really good place for a murder, don't you think? I could, I could come up with lots of horrible things happening in here. One of my brothers told me nobody would buy my book, so I'm so glad that he's been proved wrong. It's such an eclectic and wonderful range of books that they've celebrated uh, tonight. I, I'm just kind of proud to be part of the whole book business. Although you write for yourself, you want other people to read it. So the more people that read it, the sort of better you feel. And you want to do it in your lifetime. You don't want to be discovered after you're dead. What more could a writer ask for than that? Um, that? That readers have connected with the characters and connected with the plot. And that's every writer's dream, really. I just love the fact that children are, you know, are picking the books up and reading for pleasure. That's something that's really important to me. So it feels great. And I have my silver nails. We have just been inducted into the Honorary Hall of Fame. Illustrators always draw themselves and they don't even notice. Yeah, I do put big noses on everything. <laughs> oh, it's an amazing experience, the whole thing. I mean, it's been a complete roller coaster the whole of the last year. It's mind blowing enough to have written a book, even, even more so to have had it published and to actually have people reading it is just beyond words, which is helpful when you're apparently a writer. We're fascinated about what real people we might know in real life actually do, so I think there's more of that to come. I kind of celebrate by crashing and relaxing and not doing very much at all. It's, it's sad in a way because you're living with all these characters and in this little world and then you have to come out of it. When you're holding it in your hand, that's the kind of point at which um, you know, it sort of becomes real. You know, having, just having that book in your hand in itself is a celebration in itself. You have to think about the next book that you're writing, not about the successful failure of the last book. I'm doing the next book of Julia's, which is going to be Aliens, after we've covered all the subjects on Earth. We have moved into outer space, and it's, it's a nice change. I don't have to draw any rabbits or squirrels. That is the thing that makes me the happiest, is when parents or kids write to me and say, I now love reading because of you. I've always loved drawing uh, as a kid. I never thought I could actually do this as a, as a career. And now seeing, like, when you do events at schools, and you see the children sort of drawing, and it's, it's really a massive buzz and wonderful, yeah. I think there must have been at least four authors tonight who talked about the fact that their book had changed their lives. And that's a pretty immense thing to happen. You know.